Welcome to Greenhouse on August. It's hard to believe we're almost done with August, but it's been a great summer and we're looking forward to school. I want to open our time of worship with prayer. God, we thank you that you, uh, we can worship you and we pray that you would help us in doing that. In Jesus name. Amen. I'm going to light our Christ candle to remind us that Christ is always with us. I want, we've been doing the armor of God. We've been making it here. And I want to just remind us what we've done and about the armor of God. So the first thing we made was this belt of truth. Mine is a gigantic one. There we go. This belt of truth. Remember that? Then we made the breastplate of righteousness and the shield of faith. And the shoes with the, have the gospel of peace tells us where we're going. The helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit. And the helmet of salvation to protect our eyes and ears and brain and what we hear and see. And then the last thing we made was the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So this is what God has told us is what we can defend ourselves with. I wanted to read this passage again as we think about this, um, what it means. So it says, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Our struggle is not against flesh and blood, not against humans, but against authorities and rulers. of the spiritual forces of evil. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground after you've done everything to stand. Stand firm then with your belt of truth, your breastplate of righteousness, with your feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up your shield and your, that will extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Put your helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Pray, this is the new part, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. That means for anything. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. And the saints are you and I, right? People who are believers. So I just want to ask some questions I want you to think about. Now we know this isn't the true armor of God, right? Construction paper. That's, that's not going to protect you from anything. This sword couldn't do much, right? It's just for pretend. So what is the armor of God? I was thinking about the armor of God and I thought, maybe today we see lots of superhero movies, right? Maybe the armor of God, you might think of it like a get in your God suit. That doesn't make you God. But it's God that covers you. And I, that is the idea behind the armor of God, is that God's presence, his doing, his actions cover you, and that's what protects you. So in the morning, you don't go in your closet and get your suit of armor out, right? It's not real like that. But you could think in your mind each morning, I'm putting on my God suit that's going to protect me. And it's not a material, it's this presence of God. And so it's reminding ourselves that God is always with us, that God goes before us and behind us and is with us and protecting us and will bring to mind the Bible verses. So it's important to know the word of God and so that you, when you hear something that's not right, you can think of that Bible verse or that that idea from God that will help you um, show that that's not right. Now, the last part about praying, I think is important. And it's important for us to know that this was written to not one person, but many people who gathered together. So how does this work when we're together? Are we all in the same suit of God? Does the suit of God connect or how does it work together? Well, that's what I want us to think a little bit because I think sometimes we think too much of it being just us all by ourselves. But the fact is, is that God or God and Jesus have said they've called us all together. And so 
One thing about the Roman soldiers is they worked as a team and one shield would protect the other person. So this is where our God suit needs to have a shield that will protect someone else in a God suit, right? And that together, when I'm starting to fail, actually, you know, in those superhero movies, it works much better when there's a few superheroes. <laughs> and so in God, we can be like superheroes, right? Because it's his strength. And we can protect each other when one is starting to doubt or maybe it's doing stuff they shouldn't. You can help in praying for them or saying a word. You know, don't do that. God says not to do that. That's how we help each other. And that's how we stand firm and stay strong. Um, even if someone, um, we can be praying for them, even if they're having a hard time. That's what we can do. That's the that's the offensive. That's the swords part is that we can pray for that person. How important that is. So I thought of a little game you could play. And um, I thought you could do this with your parents or your siblings. But I want you to have the two. There's two of you. And someone should have a sword, a fake one like this. And um, the other person could say something that is wrong to do. Like, um... Maybe they could say, uh, don't obey your parents. Okay, so in your mind, if you're the sword person, you'd think, oh, the Bible says to obey our parents. So you could go, the Bible says to obey your parents. Okay, good job. That was fought off. So you think of another thing that might be tempting. Maybe the temptation could be, God doesn't care about you. And then you could think, hmm, does God care about me? And then I think... Jesus died for me. He cares so much. I say, Jesus died for me. And I, I, uh, it's like a battle, right? And I win that because I, I say something that's true. So you can play that game with each other. I think it could be fun to think about what you do know about the Bible. And then it's good to think about how will we learn more about the Bible and what the Bible says about God, because that's a part of our God suit, our armor of God, the suit we put on every day to be strong. And we do that in our minds. We pray and think, God, help me to remember you're always with me, right? And I'm going to pray that for other people so that they can stay strong and not get into trouble. And right, it's not just with trouble with another person, but trouble with, with um, unseen things that, that we don't know about but that can get us in a bad spot. Okay, so that is it. I wanted to remind you on the September 11th, we're going to present our, go up in our outfits and kind of show a little bit about the armor of God to the whole church. So you don't want to miss that. So I hope you're having a good start to school and I'm going to say a blessing over you and then end in our prayer time. So it'll be a little bit longer in prayer. God, I pray a blessing on the kids who are starting school that you would go before them and behind them, that they will know that you are always with them, that you will remind them of your truths that will protect them. I thank you for all the kids who are in school and even starting preschool and that you would help them to know that you're with them all this year. God, we pray for this week. And we pray for those who are excited that you would be with them in their joy and we celebrate. And we pray for those who are having a hard time that you would comfort them and help them to know you're with them, that you love them and care about them. We thank you for this time to worship you and your mightiness. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, that's all for Greenhouse. We'll see you next week.